We have a ton of FNAF news to catch up on in today's video, such as casting updates, an age rating for this film, and that the FNAF movie is almost done filming. That is completely wild to think about. Hello everybody, my name is Lightning, and in today's video we're going to be catching up on all the FNAF news that I just previously stated. So starting with the casting update, we have a new actress by the name of Tadase Young, and she's playing Dr. Lillian. Dr. Lillian is only a supporting role in this film. A lot of FNAF fans were saying that Dr. Lillian is going to be Michael's therapist, although I don't believe that. The reason why I don't believe that Dr. Lillian is Michael's therapist is because if she was, I feel like she'd be more of a main role rather than a supporting role, so I don't believe that she'll be Michael's therapist. I just think she's going to be a filler character in this role. I think she's going to be somebody else's therapist rather than Michael's therapist. The next actress that has been casted into this film goes by the name of Victoria Patinoud. I have no clue if that's how you pronounce it, I could be butchering it, but she plays a social worker in this film. Now I believe she's going to be dealing with like uh, family problems and kid problems. I mean, that would make sense if she's dealing with family issues because William Afton does some pretty questionable things throughout the whole entirety of the FNAF saga, so I do believe she's going to be more of a family helper and like a, a problem solver in this film. And Victoria was casted by IMDB, just in case if you guys were wondering. Next up, a familiar face is being casted into this film, and his name is Xander Mateo. And you guys might recognize him because he's rumored to be the kid who was screaming for his father when Michael Afton was beating somebody in a water fountain in the mall, so that's where you guys might recognize him from. Next up, Michael Wallen has been added to the IMDB page, and he's going to be making the music for this FNAF film. Which, this is extremely good, because Michael Wallen has composed the music for A Good Morning America, so I think he's going to be a really good addition to this FNAF film. In terms of music, we are set for this film, and we're in very good hands for this film. Now, just recently, a casting call was put out. Blumhouse is casting for young Vanessa. It says here they're looking for a 9 to 11 year old minor blonde female only. And the subject line is young Vanessa. There were two new photo double casting calls that were just recently put out. In which if you guys don't know what a, de a photo double is, it's just basically a uh, stunt double. That that's basically what it is. One's for Mike Schmidt. The actor needs to be 18 plus, he has to be a male that can portray Caucasian with brown hair, and he has to be around 5'5 to 5'7 in height, with the same matching skin tone and hair color as the actor in the photo below. And we also got one for Vanessa. They need a female photo double that can portray a Caucasian with blonde hair and around 5'7 to 5'9 in height, with the same matching skin tone and hair color as the actor in the photo below. So these photo doubles are going to be used for background shots and close-up shots. And this gives the main actors to film other scenes elsewhere in the meantime. So this basically confirms that Mike, which is kind of obvious by the way, and Vanessa are going to be the two main characters in this film. Now the next piece of news I have for you guys is the age rating for this FNAF film. On Facebook somebody asked, so will this film be R rated? And then Michael P. Sullivan, who works for the FNAF film, said, not sure yet, but I think so. That's a pretty big hint that the FNAF film is going to be R-rated, and I'm very happy that it is going to be R-rated because I don't want this film to be like super kid friendly and like they don't show any blood or any gore, so I'm, I think they made the right choice here. Now two-ish weeks ago the FNAF set was taken down, and there was actors leaving the set, like Christian Stokes, saying last day on set, what a wild ride, can't wait to share. That basically confirms that the FNAF film is almost done filming. The actress Kat Connor Sterling made a tweet saying, You guys, this movie, you're gonna lose your mind. I just gasped and nervously giggled when I walked on set today, because it was insane. So it does seem like everything behind the scenes are starting to come together, and that could potentially mean that the FNAF movie's almost done filming. And once they're done filming, they have to go into the post-production stage, which that basically means they're gonna post trailers and official teasers for this movie. Which that process doesn't take too long, it takes, it takes like a couple months from what I understand, but it doesn't take too long. Alrighty guys, that's all the FNAF news I have for you guys today. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave it a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new. Ring that post notification bell so you guys are always notified when I make a new video or a live stream again. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna head out now. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out everybody. If you guys enjoyed this video, I have more videos like this, so click on the video on screen before it ends.